the Red to the Roots program is, is really uh, is a program, a new a new program instituted by the Tennessee Republican Party that uh, that we have been talking about. We we actually unveiled it to the, our state executive committee a few weeks ago, and tonight we really launched it. And it is uh, we've had a lot of success with our statewide candidates, uh, the Republican Party, and then getting super majorities in our general assembly. And so now we think that uh, we really need to look at at a, the local level in terms of county mayors, county uh, sheriffs, and uh, even some judgeships. Uh, these are places that uh, we think we can make a lot of gains. That these are places that uh, that uh, the Democrats still have a, a hold on in some offices across the across the uh, state of Tennessee, and so that's where we're looking. Uh, mayors, sheriffs, judgeships, those sort of things. Every time we've talked about this with the grassroots, county parties, state executive committee, people have really been excited about it. Our elected officials are behind it, so we're looking forward to putting it forward. I, I think I think it's a, a multiple of things, but it's basically that they sort of lost sight uh, of where the where the electorate is, where the, where their constituents are, and they started glomming on to to issues that were going on in Washington, higher taxes, bigger budgets, stagnation in, in education. I mean, I talked tonight about how when I go across the country at different, you know, talking to the RNC, the state chairs about what's going on in Tennessee, there's no other state in the country that can talk about the conservative-minded legislation that's been passed and signed in Tennessee, whether it's education reform, tax reform, changing the way government operates. These are things that uh, the Republicans have done and we're stagnated under the Democrats, and I think people are recognizing that. We're going to have some some fights over policy. We're going to have some quarrels within the family. But at the end of the day, uh, if if a, if a person or a candidate is for traditional values, for individual liberty, for promoting free enterprise, then they have a home in the Republican Party, and we have to remember that. Now we can we can all have a fight and have a quarrel and have a primary, but at the end of the day, we've got to come back together, get behind our candidates and, and move forward. And that's and, and I think that's what everybody intends to do. I mean, tonight, you had, you know, th there was a lot of talk about how the General Assembly had this little fight at the end, but at the end of the day, you had almost 1,400 people here tonight. And I think that shows, in an off year, I think that shows uh, that we're we're ready for 2014, that we're together as a party. Yeah, we might have these quarrels, but we're going to come together uh, for these programs like Red to the Roots, keeping our General Assembly super majorities and, you know, re-electing our statewide.